The biggest et neat area uh, at this point is probably the patients with primary refractory disease. Uh, these were, when I refer to primary refractory, these are patients who fail to get a complete remission or durable response to what I consider the current standard of care is, which is RCHOP, which is rituxin, cytoxin, adromycin, vincristine, and prednisone. For these patients, uh, historically, we have very poor responses, and even with some of these newer agents, uh, up to half of these patients will probably not respond to treatment and will die from their disease. Uh, in addition to primary refractor, we still have the double hit lymphoma patients, uh, which this patient population, we have a quasi standard of care with our dose adjusted EPOC, but uh, very similar to primary refractor, a fair number of these patients will not respond to this upfront treatment option. Uh, we know these patients do not respond to salvage therapy with chemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. Uh, and these patients will probably not have very great responses to even some of the options that I mentioned earlier that currently got FDA approval. So. Uh, these two big patient populations probably account for most of the patients who will succumb from diffuse large B-cell lymphoma currently with all the new novel treatments we have.